Hello, hello, hello. It's your girl Latanya of Lacquered Lashes. Come on in here, y'all. If you are watching this from the replay, make sure that you comment below so I can give you some replay love. If you are a swatcher that's watching this and you swatch anything from uh, this month's Hella Handmade Creations, whether I have it or not, make sure you comment below so the Lacquer Lashes Love can go to your page, give you a follow, and like, and comment. I know, I'm sorry, Bianca. Girl, I smudged a nail, forgot I needed water for the thermals. Listen, I was trying to get my life together over here. Let me turn down this um, echo just a little, just a little bit. Okay, that's a little better. Um, so if you notice, uh, yesterday I debuted this new microphone. Um, and I like it because it has lights, but I think I like the sound of the other microphone a little better. So we're going to keep trying this out. Um, for those of you who have questions about this microphone, why is she using a microphone? Because I can, because it's my channel, that's why. Um, and if you could use a microphone, why wouldn't you? Um, and so I do. <laughs> yes, chugga chugga choo choo. Hey, Brit Brit, come on in here. Okay, okay, so tonight, I'm going to turn the echo down just a little bit more. A little bit. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay so tonight, tonight, you guys, what I have to show you is um, beauties that I got for this month's Hella Handmade Creations. If you're not familiar with Hella Handmade Creations, it is a monthly collaboration um, where makers, they will um, debut uh, different products. There's polish. There's cuticle oils, there's lotions, all kinds of good stuff. If you are not following uh, Hello Handmade Creations here on Instagram, get your life right and do that. And also make sure you go to their Facebook fan page. You can see all the swatches of all of, not only the products that I have, but there's so many more makers and products as well that I do not have. Um, so this box opens up every single month on, I believe it's the 14th. Yep, it's the 14th. It is a pre-order. I believe the turnaround time is about three or four weeks, something like that. You can go check um, the group or the site, which is up right now for wishlisting as well. Create your account, and when you see it here or when you see a swatch, like, oh, I like that, put it on your wish list. Um, <laughs> what, what, listen, listen, Bianca, Bianca coming in here trying to take your job, Brittany. No, 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 no. Bianca, I love you, boo, but Brittany is the number one ticket taker, stamper, person, what have you. Now, when she's not here, you can come on in here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She said, well, show, 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 talk to me. Oh, oh, let me let stay me out the business, business then. then. Let me let stay me out of that beat. Looks, Looks like we got, got a Christy Latia beat about, about to happen. <laughs> All right, um, so I don't think there's much more I can tell you other than let's just get into it. So today I have a lot of reflectives to show you, polishes with reflective glitter. I've got a couple of thermals to show you, and one of the thermals is also a magnetic, which is um, one of my top picks for what I received this month. I tried, I tried to show, to show you um, both glossy and matte, and um, today's live um, top coats are sponsored all by Flora Sicarol, so I'll be using her shiny top coat, her matte top coat, and her uh, leveler, the leveler, which is her smoothing top coat for glitters as well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this microphone down, and we're going to get right into it. Yeah, see, I'm used to my. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, I don't know. I, I, change is hard, y'all, which is crazy because I'm a change, a change management consultant, and I, I struggle with change. So let me go ahead and turn the camera around. I did make sure to um, let's get it focused there to clean off my camera, so we should be good to go. Okay. First up, um, so this month, so if you haven't noticed, every month I try to switch up the order I go in. Most time it's from A to Z or Z to A. So last month was from Z to A. So this month is from A to Z or some, and then also um, I've been trying to put like the reflectives together. That way when I post it in the reflective group, I can say, hey, from, you know, they're all kind of grouped together. Um, sometimes I do it by color, but today I'm doing it pretty much from um, A to Z. And then I do have all the reflectives together. So that means that first up is BCB Lacquers. And um, this is her polish, Are You Ready? Um, this is $13. 
This is a 15 milliliter bottle. Um, we do have a code 200 because there's only 200 of these to go around. Now, the thing that you should know about Hella Handmade Creations, if you're not familiar, is that each maker can have a series. So, um, like I know that Rogue Lacquer, they, she was doing a series and I think she still is doing it. I don't have Rogue for this month. Um, I think she was like preoccupied, um, with, uh, the, um, the expo and that didn't get to me, but, um, like Rogue Lacquer, she was doing a Little Mermaid series. So Brittany, um, she's on a series that is about Disney villains and this is a royal purple with a strong pink gold green shifting shimmer and then it's got all these beautiful that you can see in here um teal metallic flakes let me zoom in just a little bit there and it's got hollow flakes as well and this is inspired by dr Fasselier from the princess and the frog um so let me so um i'm gonna go ahead and show it to you i was like kind of going through and 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 giving the description showing in the bottle and then doing swatches all at once. But I think I'm going to switch it back up and show you the swatches um, right along with it. So here you can see I've got it in, um, it's two easy coats with a glossy top coat and look at it with the matte top coat. Those flakes just pop out when it's matte. So that is the winner for me there. And then let's show it to you on brown sugar here. So if you're a purple lover, a flaky lover, um, if you're like me where you love those contrasting colors, like polishes with those contrasting colors, this is definitely for you as well. Um, if you love shimmers and you can see all of that shift going on there, this is a polish for you as well. And here is the matte on brown sugar too. I'm trying to be careful because this one is a little wet and I already smudged this nail, so... Okay, now also from BCB Lacquers this month is this cuticle oil called Fruit Bowl. And um, this is $10. Um, there is only 50 of these to go around. So we have a code 50. And this is actually, um, so for her cuticle oils, it's a new series. And this is inspired by, after, by the after party. Um, so this is scented like sparkling soda juicy orange, sweet cherry, lemon, raspberry, and dried plum. Um, there's, this is 10, uh, 10 milliliter bottle and it is a glass bottle, which I love. And then if we open it up, whoops, it's got this um, stainless steel roller ball and then this metallic cap here. So, and I actually forgot to put on cuticle oil. So let's just go ahead and put some on and then I'll tell you what I think about the scent. I'm gonna do it on all my nails, even the ones that you're not. And then you just, you know, put, ooh, it smells so good. Um, oh, it smells so good. And I probably, I did put on too much. Like I put it on as if I'm putting it on at night. So there's that. Um, I'll put it on the other hand to show you how I would normally really do it. I kind of got away with my, got away with it, carried away. Oh, this smells so good. Now to me, this smells like, um, you know what this smells like to me? What I went into labor trying to get from Victoria's Secret, Pear Glace. That's what this smells like to me. This smells like pear, this smells like a dupe to me to Victoria's Secret's Pear Glace. That's what this smells like. So let me show you how I would normally do this. So I would just do like a, like instead of rolling it back and forth, I would just do a quick swipe like that and put a little less oil on and then just rub it all in. I normally would let it sit just for a little bit and then rub it in, but for the purposes of TV, my daughter just asked if I met you in Las Vegas. Yes, she did, baby. Yes, she did, sweetheart. Okay, so that is, let me put this cap back on. This smells so good, you guys. This might be my favorite BCB um, oil. Mm, even more so than what was it candied apple it was i think that's the dupe for candied apple from um uh, uh bath and body but i can't remember what britney's name of it was this is probably my favorite so this is fruit bowl uh again this is ten dollars and there's only 50 of these to go around and trust me when i say this smells just like victoria's secret pear lace it does love it love it love it love it all right 
Moving along, we are going to go to Sarah of Bee's Knees. And this is, oh wait, yep, this is, it's Capitalism Baby. Don't worry about my label here where it says March. This is for April. And um, this is $13.00. It is a 15 milliliter bottle. There is no cap on this. Um, and she is continuing her American Horror Story series um, with this polish. And this is a bright spring green with a very strong orange to green shimmer. And it's inspired by um, the National Parks episode um, from American Horror Story. So let me, hold on, let me... I'm trying to get you the true color of, because this is coming up like a deeper green, and it is really a spring, a bright spring green, and I'm trying to, wait, uh, hold on, there we go, right there, that is the true color, and look at that shimmer, y'all, so here it is swatched, um, two coats, and then obviously a glossy top coat and a matte top coat, again, all sponsored by Cloris to Carol. I know the shift in this is just phenomenal, beautiful. And this one, I can't, I don't know what I got here. I got something on this one here. Oh, I don't want to mess with it. Um, I got something in that one. Um, I can't really determine which one I like better, the matte or the glossy. It's kind of a tie for me. Okay, so that is these knees. Then we're going to move on. I have two polishes from Danny by, by Vienna. Um, so the first one that I have is Dressed as a Princess. This is $13. Um, this is a 11 milliliter bottle. And we do have a code 100. There's only 100 of these to go around. And um, she is continuing her uh, Anastasia series. And this is a sheer blue base with blue to purple Aurora shimmer and then reflective glitter. And so let me show that to you. Did I show you it's capitalism up against brown sugar? Cause this is a brown sugar approved. I just love this kind of green up against brown sugar. Sorry, let me go back here. Okay, so moving back to um, by our Danny Vienna and this is dressed as a princess. And here it is on brown sugar. And just that shift from that um, that shimmer is just absolutely gorgeous and glowy. Now this what is three coats here, um, so you could all my swatches are two coats unless I tell you otherwise. So this is a sheer formula which I love, um, and so this is three coats of this. And then it does look like Cinderella's dress. It does. This would be perfect for Cinderella to go to the ball, um, and then a glossy top coat. Now, also from um, by Danny Vienna, we have We Love the Russian Ballet. And um, this is a black to blue multi-chrome polish. Now, she doesn't say that it has reflective glitter in it. But when I'm looking at it, I'm pretty sure that this has a smattering of reflective glitter in it as well. Um, there's only 100 of these to go around. And this is also $13. And then here that is swatched and then up against brown sugar. Hey, Katie, thanks for joining. Or Katie Nails, should I say. And I really do think that just has like the, the, a smattering of uh, reflective glitter in it as well. Oh, yeah, I could see it being Ariel's dress as well. But this does remind me of um, Cinderella, too. Now, you can get both of these as a duo um, for $25, and there's only 100 duos to go around. And because of that, y'all, I decided to top this over this so that you could see what those look like. So if you put this over this, you get this. This, this definitely has reflective glitter in it. It's got you. So you really see all that more. It's more of a tealy, teal type blue base when you put them over each other. Okay. 
Moving along, um, oh, let me move that in the right order. I have a reflective thermal from Caloris to Carol, and this is Perito Moreno. Uh, it's $13. This is a 15 milliliter bottle. Um, we do have a code 100. There's only 100 of these to go around. And um, she is actually beginning a new series that has the theme inspired by South America landmarks. So this is a medium blue to turquoise thermal with multi-chrome shimmer, and it's got turquoise and blue metallic flakes, and then it also has silver reflective glitters in it, and it is inspired by Perito Marino Glacier in Argentina. And here it is swatched on brown sugar. So I put cuticle oil on, that's why this doesn't look completely as matte as there we go that's a little better here so here it is with one coat or i'm um, sorry this is two easy coats this has a matte top coat and then a glossy top coat and i apologize i smudged this one here so it's not as pretty um pretty looking but it's a, a absolutely beautiful polish on this one here you can see the tip is already blue but i am going to uh go ahead and show you the transition here so let me dip in cold water so you can see what that looks like there. And then I guess I should dip the mat in cold as well. There you go. Transitions very easily. Yes, a lot of blues. Blues and purples are always always very popular colors with any maker collabs. I mean, I just think they sell very well too. So why not make what sells? Listen, supply and demand. Okay, so that is Caloris to Carol. And then we have two polishes to show from Penelope Luz. And the first one is Little Scorpion. Whoops. And uh, this is $13. Um, we have a code 150 because there's only 150 of these to go around. This is a 10 milliliter bottle. And um, actually Penelope is starting a new series this month that is inspired by Penny Dreadful. Um, and this is a red base with a micro hollow glitter red and reflective silver glitter in it. This red is stunning, you guys. It is super sexy and luscious, and it is a brown sugar approved as well. It is absolutely beautiful. This needs to be on your wish list for sure. Beautiful. And then also from Penelope Luz, we have um, the Little Scorpion Topper. Uh, this is also, or excuse me, this is $13 as well. Again, it's a 10 milliliter bottle. And this has UCC uh, flakies, and then it's got black red with black hollow glitters in it as well. And this also, there's only 150 of these to go around. And then here that is swatched on its own. Um, this was actually, did I get a smudge on there? This was actually only two coats. And then you can also get these two together as a duo. As a duo, it is $26, and there's only 150 of them to go around. And of course, I swatched them together, so when you put this over this, you get this. And here it is over brown sugar. I absolutely love this red. It is beautiful. She did a good job with this. All right, um, moving along, and I think this is the last of my reflective glitters, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it is. Um, we have two polishes from, Pen um, sorry, this is from Patty Lopez, excuse me. Um, the first one is Crystalline Touch. This is $13. Um, there's only 80 of these to go around. So we have a code 80 and this is uh, a 10 milliliter bottle. Um, and this is, she's continuing her landscape series and this is a blue metallic, it has blue metallic flakes, excuse me, multi-chrome flakies and then silver reflective glitter in it as well. And here that is, this is three coats because this was sheer. So I went ahead and did three coats of this and it is absolutely stunning, beautiful. Hey, Esmeralda, Polish Dot Me Cute. Did you swatch any um, HHCs th this month? If you do, raise your hand so folks can go and follow you and like and comment. You should be doing that anyway because Esmeralda does phenomenal swatches. 
Okay, and then also from Patty Lopez, we have Living in the Paradise. And um, this is also $13, a 10 milliliter bottle. Um, there's only 80 of these to go around. Um, and this has a teal base with Aurora Shimmer. This one is really beautiful. Um, and this is only two coats, but look at that shimmer, you guys. Ah, I just call it as I see it, Esmeralda. You know I love your swatches. I know you haven't had time to do um, stamping as much as you used to, especially since you've picked up, you know, um, doing a lot more swatching, but her stamping is phenomenal as well. I wish. Hey, Nicole, thanks for joining. Oh, good, you did. Okay, so you guys, uh, Esmeralda did swatch um, some Hella Handmade Creations this month, so definitely go to her page, give her a follow, and like and comment. And then, of course, you can get these as a duo as well. So the duo together is $25, and there's only 80 of these duos. And, of course, I'm going to show you what the two look like together. So if you put this over this, you get this. I love this combination together. Love, love, love this combination. All right. Then we are going to move along to Mariah of Great Lakes Lacquer. And this is the Unbendable. And uh, this is $13. Oh, I just love the shift in this. Um, there is no cap. And Mariah is continuing her series that's inspired by um, Avatar, The Last Airbender. And this is a grayish sea foam green um, that just glows with green to blue to purple and pink shifting shimmer. And it's got a little scattering of um, holographic glitter as well. Such a beautiful polish. And let me show it to you. Uh, on brown sugar. So this is two easy coats with glossy top coat and a matte top coat. And this is another one. I can't figure out which one I like better, glossy or matte, because they're both gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. That's Great Lakes Lacquer. And moving along to Heather's Hues. This is another beautiful polish this month. Um, this is, whoops, sorry, Shivering and Shaking. This is $12.50. Um, this is a 15 milliliter bottle and there is no cap. And she's continuing her series um, um, inspired by Billie Eilish, one of my daughter's favorite um, performers. She just actually went to her concert in um, Chicago and got to touch her when she was going down the aisle. So that was fun. Um, and this is a peachy pink crully with pink orange gold shimmer shimmer excuse me and then it's got a touch of hollow sparkle and hollow flakes in it as well and when i say a touch of those flakes and shimmer that's exactly what i mean just a touch of it just a little just a little bit to be like oh, it gives it a little bit of oop into it so here it is and this is a brown sugar approved um here it is with a glossy top coat and then a matte top coat. And again, this is another one of those. I'm not sure which I like better. Um, this is more in the corally family. So it is, it is peachy, but it's got like that coral undertone, which I know I've said to you all before, coral, it's scientific. That coral looks good in every single skin tone. And now that I'm looking at it, I think I like it. I think matte wins out for me, but it's very close, the matte or the glossy. Oh, Bianca's going for glossy. All right, Brittany. Well, um, Bianca, now's your time. If the Hot Mess Express takes off, you, it's your responsibility to punch tickets. Now, also from Heather's Hughes, we have her, her Wits um, uh, body lotion. And whoops, let me show it here. And this is in Princess Bubblegum scent. And we know that Wit stands for what is that sorcery? So this is a sweet, juicy bubblegum fragrance with um, top notes of orange, pineapple, and banana. And then it has um, hints of um, peach and cherry over a vanilla base. This is a two ounce jar um, and it's just jam packed of skin loving, nourishing, natural ingredients. Um, and let me show you, hold on, the consistency of it. 
So it's a nice light um, formula there. And then let me grab some here so that you can just see what it looks like on the skin and the consistency. I know I'm a little close there. Let's do it this way. And let me see. I know her lotion always sells out, you guys. That should tell you something. Let me see what I think of the scent. Mmm. So I am, what's, what's, um, what I'm pulling the most? Ah, oh, this smells like a candy, though. What candy? Mmm. Okay, it does, you know what? It does smell like Hubba Bubba, which, so Hubba Bubba to me, um, not Hubba Bubba, a bazooka. That's what it smells like. It smells like bazooka gum. So, you know, bazooka gum has that bubble gum, but it's got more of that cherry scent to it. That's what this smells like. Mmm. Smells really good. Very fruity, very candy-like. So that is from Heather's Hughes. There's only 40 of these to go around, you guys. And, um... As Polished Happiness said, she does sell out of these, like, every time she sells out. So get your hands on that. All right. Then we've got a gorgeous polish this month from Linby Designs. And this is, let me get it to focus here. Let me zoom in a bit. Pentagon of Anguish. Um, this is $13. Uh, this is a 15 milliliter bottle. We do have a code 100 because there's only 100 of these to go around. And um, she is continuing with her Properties of Polygon series. And this is a teal base multi-chrome with green to teal to blue to indigo shift. And then it also has scattered hollow sparkle in it as well. And here it is swatched. I mean, look at that shift, you guys. It couldn't get any glowier than that. Like, it literally looks like I have a green light coming from um, inside of this polish. So here it is with two coats, glossy top coat. And then I, what did I get that's white on these, these white specks on these swatches? I don't know what happened. I apologize. Here it is with a matte top coat, though. This is absolutely beautiful. I mean, just that glow alone. And this is another one. I don't know which one wins out for me, whether it be matte or glossy, but they're both gorgeous. So that's Linby Designs. And then we have Polish with Heart, rent, wait, heart Render, right? Um, and this is $14. It is... Uh, it's a 15 milliliter bottle and there is no cap on this. And she is continuing her series that's inspired by uh, Shadow and Bone. Um, and this is a rich strawberry red that is packed with metallic red flakes and scattered holographic flakes. Um, let me, there we go. That's the true color. So you can see that strawberry red coming through there. Yep, that's the true color there. And let me show it to you swatched. It's absolutely beautiful, you guys. And strawberry reds don't really come around a whole lot, I feel like. I feel like either it's like this deep red or like a cherry red. But I don't see a lot of folks doing um, strawberry reds. So definitely pick this up and, and add something a little bit different to your collection. Brittany, for you, I will show it over black. I will. I'll go back and do that and show it over black. And then here it is, matte. And I'm not sure, again, which one. I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards matte on this just because it's different, but I like them both ways. Okay. And last but not least is one of my top picks this month. It is an absolutely stunning, beautiful polish. Whether you magnetize it, whether you're hot or cold, it is an absolutely beautiful polish and I'm absolutely here for it. And it is from Bianca of Red Eye Lacquer. I mean, just look at this. You guys know how I feel about like contrasting colors. So that purple base with this contrasting shimmer in it, like I cannot even. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Um, so this is $12.50. I mean, 
moment of silence. Just look at that right there. Like I can't even. Um, so it's twelve dollars and fifty cents. Um, let's see if there's a cap on this. There is a cap, you guys. I'm going to say that this is going to sell out. Um, there's only a hundred of these to go around. And Bianca is starting a new series this month that is inspired by Toy Story. Um, and this, I didn't even show you what this is. This is Galactic Hero. And so this is a purple to clear thermal with lime magnetic and hollow. Um, at the show, she did a, um, a duo with Alchemy and it was a thermal magnetic as well as like, wait, is that legal? Can you do a thermal and a magnetic together? And I, I mean, it can't be the first time I've heard of that, but it feels like it's the first time I heard about it. And it feels like it was illegal. Like I, like I might have to delete this live because the feds are going to show up at my door. Um, what else do I need to tell you about this other than just showing it to you? Let me, I'm just going to show it to you. Actually, let me show you. Um, sometimes I do this and sometimes I don't, but I will show it to you magnetizing it in the bottle. I mean, just look at that. You guys, I, like that shimmer just don't want to hide y'all. I mean, it's just stunning. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Um, so here it is just by itself. No magnetization. Um, I'll show it to you, um, you know, both hot and cold. But here it is by itself. Absolutely beautiful. Here it is magnetized with a glossy top coat. I mean, come on, you guys. Come on. And then here it is matte. And because I put some oil on, it's not as matte. But here it is matte magnetized as well. I mean, we're going to be in jail, girl. We're going to be in jail. And I'm too cute for jail. I don't need to be using pads for slippers. You know what I mean? Okay, now let's get some thermal action going on. Um, what do I want to do? I'm going to show it. Actually, let me do this. Let me do one that's... Hold on, let me get some fresh hot water in here. One that... Oh, ooh, shoot. Girl, I'm trying to burn myself. Okay, let's... Okay, I can't do it too. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, that's hot. That's hot. Okay, wait, hold on. <laughs> All right, so that you can see the difference right now. It said clear. And I know, like, sometimes when makers say clear, like, their idea of clear is different than my idea of clear. So this is, I mean, I'm, ooh, hold on, that's hot. This is hot water. Okay, ooh, 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 ooh. this is hot. So that's what it looks like hot. And this is what it looks like cold. So you can see the difference, but it's not clear for me. Um, and this is only two coats, you guys. And then let me do this one here. Hold on. Without it being magnetized. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's hot. It's really hot. <laughs> like, it's so hot I can barely. I use it straight from the kettle. So, and then I make sure to keep it in this, um, whatchamacallit, this metal so that it stays hot as possible. So that's what it is cold. Okay, it doesn't make it clear. Okay, girl, because I was like, listen, it's not completely clear for me. Okay, so that's what it is. Warm. I shouldn't say hot. I mean, it is hot. And then I dipped it in cold. And so it's a little, it's it's not as, it's not as, um, like, you don't get, like, a clear, subtle, hold on. Let me do them together so you can, ooh, that's hot. See? You can see the difference, though. You definitely see the difference. Cold and hot. There we go. No, this is just on my nail, girl. Like on my, and I didn't even put a base coat on because I was running late. So like, this is just over my acrylic overlay. No, there is no, it's no dark base or anything. Yes, girl. It is that, it is, it's doing that on its own, sis. And it is absolutely beautiful. Oh, I get it. So the base just gets clear so that you can see the packed silver hollow better. I gotcha, 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 gotcha. But it is stunning. I do predict a sellout because there's only 100 of these to go around. I don't know if she's tripping with that. But I, I'm not going to be on her business. I'm going to assume that she has some type of, you know, um, she can only make X amount due to pigment or bottles. So we're not going to trip on it. But I'm just saying you need to get in and get out with this one. Okay, so that's all I have for you for Hella Handmade Creations this month. Let me go ahead and turn the camera around and give you a proper goodbye. Oh, wait. Nope, nope, nope. Hold on. I promised Brittany that I would do um, hers over black. So let's go ahead and show that over black. Um, so we are going to real quick show, are you ready? 
which is this polish here over black. This is the only one I have, babe. Why, did you have another one for Hello Handmade? No, this is the only one I have, baby. Okay, so let's show this over black here. Ooh, that's pretty. And so when you put it over black, and one of the things about putting it over black or a uh, deeper base color is that you typically only need one coat then. Mm -mm. No, I don't have a hair oil, babe. This is all I got. Mm -mm. Oh, and you know I need me a good hair oil. So that's beautiful. So that's, hold on, let me show you. So here we have just over like a white clear, should I say, swatch wheel, and then over black. So over black, I mean, you're definitely seeing more of the shift. You only need one coat. It's beautiful either way, and I'm sure this would look beautiful matte as well. Mm -mm. Smells like Pop Rocks? Girl, yes, yes. But no, I don't have it. Okay. Um, so that's it. That's all I have for you for this month for Hella Handmade Creations. Let me turn the camera around and say a proper goodbye. Um, thanks for hanging out with me tonight, you guys. Again, if you're watching this in the replay, comment below. Don't just come on in here and not let me know that you're here and say hello to you. Um, aww. Um, <clears throat> I'm just paying attention to what you were saying, Brittany. Um, I think that's it for me this week. I'm like, I'm, I just, I love, I love this one from Red Eye Lacquer. Um, tomorrow is fill day for me, so I won't be live tomorrow. I'll be getting my overlay filled in. And then next week, I know I have a jam-packed week for you. Um, I think I've got... I know I've got, um, we're debuting uh, Great Lace Lacquer on Lacquer to Lashes. We've got, um, I know I've got Sassy Sauce. Um, let's see here. I just did, didn't I just do a chorus to Carol? Let me see. Let me look in the box and see what I got. This was your first live? I should start asking folks. Like, if it's your first time here, you know, wave hello or have you all welcome, girly introvert nails. I'm so glad that you joined. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, oh, next week, I do know. I'm pretty sure it is next week that I've got the Wildflower Lacquer, her um, classics collection. Oh, I've got another collection from Red Eye Lacquer, but um, I don't think that's next week. Um, you might see, I don't have the, cam the calendar up in front of me, but I've got a collection from Lemming Lacquer to show you as well. Let's see here. This is a collection from Limby Designs, but that's for, she's way ahead of the game. I think that's for May. Um, oh, yeah, I do have a new, Cloris de Carol has new um, boxes, and I love that you don't even have to open it to see the label at the bottom of it. I love that. But they're super sexy. They're black with um, rose, rose gold. Super sexy. Anyway, so we'll be live next week. Put your put your notifications on. Um, somebody had asked for me to do a haul of what I got at um the expo in vegas and i'm down to do that um i wasn't going to do like swatches but just kind of show it in the bottle if you know you think that works um because i didn't want to have to go through and do swatches or whatever but i'll show you you know what was in the vip bag um and then also show you some of the stuff that i picked up because i did pick up some goodies um all right, you guys. Well, have a great evening, and I will catch up with you next week. Actually, I probably will. Like, if I do that live showing what I got from the expo. Um, Brittany, I do have some packages out there, but I was working all day. So I know I've got two, uh, four packages out there. So probably one of them is yours. I know you be, I know you be stalking your own tracking. So if it said I got it, boo, then I'm sure I got it. <laughs> um, you're welcome guys. Um, but I'll probably, I don't know, maybe Saturday, Sunday, something like that. I don't know. I'll come live or maybe I'll do like a later night one on Friday. Um, we're just like, you know how like we chitty chat sometimes and I unpack stuff. So maybe that's what we'll, how we'll treat that. So, all right guys, thanks for joining. Love you. Bye.